Hello and welcome to the world of Movie Community College. The professor and the warrior queen have been working hard to bring you some great new videos. Please make sure to like, subscribe and smash the bell. For now, let's just enjoy the fabulous video. Well, hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? How how's it hanging as we would say here in America? How's it hanging? I don't know why we say that. It's kind of a stupid saying. It sounds weird now that I actually said that out loud to you. Uh, this video is brought to you by Dr. Squatch. Feel like a man, smell like a champion. You can feel like a champion too, but you don't want to smell like a man, necessarily. Unless you got some kind of weird fetish thing, I don't know. Or you're just stinky. Anyways, uh, I got a Dr. Swami video here. And he's talking about the Special Protection Group, the Amendment Bill. 2019 um, that's caused a whole bunch of controversy I like Swami Swami is a nationalist Swami is a Hindu Swami says uh, we don't need the Christians telling us what to do America needs to mind their own business I have no problem with that I, I, I don't want India to tell me what to do right fair is fair so let's go ahead and take a look at this Dr. Subramanyam Swami <clears throat> Mr. Deputy Chairman, I first of all uh, rise to welcome this amendment bill. I saw. And it was overdue. Amit. But uh, appreciate the Home Minister having taken this initiative to bring it in this session. The question really here is that an exception be made for one family. That is all that is being asked for by the uh, Congress Party. Because no other family of ex-Prime Ministers has been provided with this. And under the Constitution, we are all equal before the law, unless you have a separate category. And the separate category is that of the Prime Minister. But all others, they are being not heads of government. They cannot be given a privilege which others are not given. That is equality before law. Now, the uh, argument being given popularly is that two members of the family were assassinated. If you look at the facts of the assassination, they had nothing to do that is nothing to do with the lack of security. In the case of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, the IB had presented a report saying that two of your security guards are infected and they should be transferred out. It's on record, it's there in the uh, various wow. uh, commissions which have gone into this. I did not know that. And it was not approved by Mrs. Gandhi herself and also members of the family. And those very two guards assassinated her in her own house, not when she was on tour or when she was addressing a meeting. In the case of Rajiv Gandhi, Mr. Tulsi quoted, uh, quoted the uh, uh, the uh, Justice uh, Verma's, and I should know it better because I was the one who moved the resolution here in the House at that time. And I just uh, got hold of the uh, report submitted, which was laid on the table of the House. And paragraph 7 of the recommendation says, the Commission has also observed that the Congress party workers and organizers at the venue of the meeting did not extend the required cooperation to the police and created impediments in making proper security arrangements for Sri Rajiv Gandhi, particularly in ensuring strict access control in his proximity. Mm. About the responsibility of the Congress party and organizers of VIP programs, the government has accepted the recommendation, that is Narsimha Rao's, in, uh, of the commission that some guidelines and co code of discipline should be framed for political parties. I challenge Mr. Tulsi to say where it says in that report 
of Justice Verma that because SPG was withdrawn and therefore uh, Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated. There is no such reference at all. And that's a standing challenge to Mr. my good friend, Mr. Uh, Tulsi. Now, today, what is the threat perception? It must be very serious, otherwise Z plus would not be given. But no, none of those threat perceptions which went earlier, when, the, when Mr. Narsimha Rao amended the act to give this extra special coverage of SPG, to Mrs. Gandhi, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi and the family. One is that the LTT threat, Gujarat government was toppled on the grounds that was a member of the government and therefore the Congress is withdrawing support to the Gujarat government. Mr. Gujarat's son is here, he may not remember. It is absolutely on record. No, please. It's on record. It will examine. I will see. Please. 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 Just show. Please. Please. Now, it will examine. It will be examined. Look at that It will be examined. She said that. He looks amused. Why she be members, This will be examined, I told you. Yes, this will be examined. Please. Now they are friends with the DMK. Please. LTT also. The Supreme Court said that this, this crime was so gruesome and so much against the nation that they should be given capital punishment. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi wrote a letter to the president, which I have a copy of, where she advocated that this would be wrong and in the name of interest of justice, their punishment should be reduced to a life imprisonment. Later on, the daughter of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi went to the jail to meet Nalini. Wait a minute. <laughs> she went to the jail and the jail manual said only relatives can come and meet convicted prisoners. That was broken. She broke the prison rule. And so there is no threat from LTT. What else is the threat? Islamic forces cannot be threat to because they are very secular. We are the ones who have to suffer for it. So I, I would like to say, to conclude, first of all, it's a constitutional principle of equality before the law. It applies to them. There cannot be a separate constitution for them. The constitution applies to all of us. Second, we want them to be all alive because I would like to see them to go to jail on corruption charges. <laughs> I was shocked to find out that like, he's like 76 years old. Still going strong, man, Dr. Swami. <laughs> he's, uh, I want to see him all in jail for corruption charges. Wow, dude. Yeah, I enjoy him. I enjoy him. I think he is a, a, uh, a good example of somebody who is true to their convictions and is trying to carry out uh, their mandate. You know, we're all human and we make mistakes and sometimes we probably say things we shouldn't have said. I know I do daily. But I, I just I just think he's just a, a great example of somebody who is it's a man of conviction. Man of conviction, yeah, who is trying to make India better, I think. Um I don't I'm not aware of any kind of crazy uh, you know, uh, you know. I'm not aware of it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh do me a favor, will you will you share this video? We'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love. I am pleased to announce that Dr. Squat is the official soap of the professor. Dr. Squat is the best selling organic soap on the planet. Make sure you click on the link below to purchase your bar. Feel like a man, smell like a champion.